If you are too demanding or too greedy, your mind is not rich and self-sufficient. When your mind becomes demanding, when you long for something, you will end up violating your own precepts, not to tell lies, not to steal, not to kill, not to be immoral, and so forth. If you keep your original mind, the precepts will keep themselves. The beginner's mind is the mind of compassion. When our mind is compassionate, it's boundless. Good evening, good evening everyone. This we are the Kingdom of Balance. This is Princess of Balance here with uh day 158 of going through the bundle for racial justice and equality. We do this stream two days a week to showcase three games per session from the bundle. This um in today's session we're gonna go through games number 472 to 474. That's going to be Daydreamer, uh, uh, Daydream More by Moon Metro Digital, Self Destroy by Maxine Red, and Sonar Smash by Pixel Pajama Studio. They're going to be some highly pixelated games from the previews I've seen. I'm looking forward to trying them out. They're going to look a little weird, uh, some of them, because they don't seem to go full screen. So I had to really zoom in on them to um, show them in the stream. So they might look, look a little weird, but um, I'm sure we can manage. So we're going to be um, starting with um, game number 472. I usually do this stream every um, Monday and Friday, but uh, I'm switching it up nowadays to do Mondays and Wednesdays. We're going to try this schedule for a bit and see how that works out. Hopefully pretty soon um, I'm hoping to um, unveil my new overlay. 
and an upgraded version of this one uh, in May, soon, um, early in May, hopefully. Um, so <laughs> looking forward to trying all that out um, because I'm really excited for all the new plugins I've been using for this. I'm excited to show them. So uh, to start off, we're going to go into game number 472. Daydream more. So yeah, it's a it's a one bit, it's a one bit um, platformer. Uh, right now, um, this game is available for whatever price you want to pay, and that's why um, one of the things I li love about Itchio is like you can pick whatever price you want. Um, you can, if you can afford to pay $100, you can pay $100 for a game. It's all about how much, uh, how generous you feel. You can also pay $0. That's also an option. And Ichi also doesn't ever demand any um, cut of the sales. So that's also very nice. It's a very generosity-based marketplace. It's one of my favorite things about it. So we have... Um, Great uh, Daydream More, and it's by Moon Knight Digital. Daydream More is an extremely short, 15 minutes, platformer about a developer daydreaming about running. Jump and climb your way through a perilous factory. This game was made for the locally sourced spring bundle in five days using Unity. This game is now free, but that the bundle is over. The small, um, the Q oil updates are on hold until further notice. Struggling with the creative block, the developer needed something to jumpstart their drive again. With a sigh, they open a new tab in their browser and begin scrolling through videos, something they usually do when they can't make any progress. While watching a video, they realized a peculiar parkour video being recommended. Curious, they pulled up the video. It was someone running through a factory, jumping off walls and avoiding dangerous forgotten machinery with jumps of precision and timing. They're astounded by the prowess of the runner in the video. Going down a rabbit hole of parkour videos, the developer could feel the creativity rushing in. Ideas of parkour filled their head and like that, they got trapped in a state of daydreaming. Features a fixed window resolution. Um, controller support, 10 plus rooms to run and jump through, nice one bit pixel art. Cool. So, la la la, XA cross dual shock is jump. Um, okay. So, there's wall jump, there's jump down, and then there's the regular jump. Okay. Cool. Very simple controls. So I'm gonna zoom in further because we need to. This, this is gonna be <laughs> uh, even like it's gonna be a small window. I'm gonna go into that thing, go further inside, and let's see. We're gonna launch the game and zoom in further. go <laughs> hmm. yeah simple control Try it out. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. 
While in air, do double jump. Okay, we already have double jump. Cool. That's cute. It's really cute. While on wall, uh, uh, side and button to jump. To wall jump, okay. But why was wall jump important here? Oh, it's important on this side. Cool. I really like the controls. There's a there's a fluidity. There's like a a substance to the jump for a Yeah, like that like that thingy. Like there's this there's this um I don't know how to say it. There's a feel to this jump. Uh, like uh, there's um, like it feels solid. Like I could touch the floor. You know, like it. There's lots of games where the movement is not um, realistic enough that you don't feel like it's a, it's an actual gravity, in uh, you know, gravity based environment. But this one has that thing. I'm not supposed to touch those spiky things, so I'm trying to avoid them. There. That's a checkpoint. Okay, cool. Oops, too far. Could have just waited, I guess. like the little sounds. Oops. I think I have to use the wall. a bit. We need to do a double jump for sure. Oh, can't even touch it slightly. Okay. Almost. 
Well, it was only made in five days, so there's no story and stuff, but um, it has... Um, it has... It is clearly a precision platformer. And I like those games, too. It's not... Uh, I don't play them very often, but I do... Oh, yeah. I do like the mechanics of it. jump through this middle section here. Oops. It's very easy to die here. Yeah, we finally did that one. Oops. Those little corners. They get you.
Hello, Coco Queen. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Sorry, I didn't notice the chat because I was so um, zoomed in. Let me just start. Uh, come out a bit. There we go. I'm playing a game that was uh, made in five days um, as part of a challenge or something. And apparently it only is supposed to be 15 minutes, but I'm pretty sure I've been playing longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> well, good. Just got here. Doing well. Oh, that's good. I was in your uh, stream earlier. Well, we chatted there, but you know. Oh, there's no floor. <laughs> I forgot. Winding down, that's good. Yeah, you were mentioning um, a multiplayer Kingdom Hearts thing for the um, for Birth by Sleep, and I don't really remember <laughs> uh, the story mode having anything like that. I know that the uh, Mirage Arena has it, um, and I know there's a multiplayer in it, but I have I don't remember. Um, like the story game having that option. Oh my god, I can't believe I made it to that one. Oh no. <laughs> okay. For a second I was thinking, oh, that part looks really easy. What's the catch? And then the thing actually goes through the, through the part where I have to stand. spikes always get me. Isn't it sadistic how every game, how games try to make uh, ground humans out of characters at every turn? Like, I wouldn't want to be that guy. <laughs> I hope he doesn't keep any of those memories from being grounded to a pulp at every turn. I, I don't think uh, a one-bit game will have enough memory to hold that information. Thank you. 
go too far, then you can't reach the wall again easily. So we'll have to jump closer. But not hit the spike. until it happens and jump up jump up again yeah okay that's it right we'll just slide down now yeah okay there's a checkpoint what oh fast. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. It'll get worse though. Oh! They change every time I jump. That's the trick. Okay, cool. I can do that. Wasn't too bad. Another checkpoint. Nope. That was a single jump. Have you seen the movie Free Guy? Um, no, it's been on our list for a bit. It's been recommended to both, both to me and to Rifna. <laughs> um, about the, uh, you know, the nature of existence and stuff like that. Yeah, we're, we're gonna watch it eventually. Uh, yeah, I, I don't ever find enough time for a whole movie. I watch shows a lot, but I never seem to have time for a whole movie. And Rifna needs to build up a lot of emotional uh, stamina to watch movies. So that's why it end up never happening. Uh, oh, come on. Pretty great and touches on that um, an NPC who changes the game yeah yeah I I, I, I know what it's about so I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to it no it's not a Pixar movie it's it's yeah. no this is uh this is a pr uh, about um it's got Ryan Reynolds in it and it's about a MMO game I think where an NPC like becomes self-aware. Ooh, that was close. Recently I've been catching up on the Marvel um, shows and stuff like the... Oh no, I have to do this kind of stuff here? Damn. That's the hardest part those spike thingies like the spinning spikes are fine but the the other one the wall spikes those are the hardest wrecking ralph was a good take on it too from a villain tired of being a villain yeah that was a really cool um change Was, um, hmm. Mar 
Marvel's been doing a lot of reality related stuff recently. Um, so I've been watching those a lot. Although the last one that I watched was has was nothing to do with that. But I found it very validating. Um, it's an old show actually called Cloak and Dagger. They had two seasons of it. Um, and I really liked it because um, the two main characters um, were uh, different gendered, but they were not um, uh, they were not written as romantic character, a uh, romantic in any way. Like, but they had this closeness that was very. Um, they had this really intense platonic closeness, which I rarely see in any. Uh, TV shows and so I, I found that very very lovely to watch Catch up on need to catch up on my marbles. Yeah, that's a good idea. There's just so much now <laughs> I should try crosscode. It's uh, it's all the best part of MMO without the humans. Oh, yeah crosscode. Yeah. I've been playing crosscode occasionally, but occasionally. <laughs> well, I've been playing crosscode all the time, but um, oh, see, I, I stood near that spike and I didn't die, so it's possible. Like I stood in that like tiny little spot. Yeah, I have like 40 hours of crosscode so far, I think. Maybe 50. Crosscode is interesting because it's um, about... Um, about someone who... Um, oops. Too close. It's about a person... Um, it's about an MMO that's... Um, like, it takes place in an MMO, but it's actually a single-player game with a very... Oh. Why did he get stuck for a second? Oh, I'm just too eager. <laughs> I need to slow down a bit. Oh my god. Oh, you love Cloak and Dagger? That's good. Yeah, so you've seen it already. I, I was, yeah, I had it on my list for a while, and I was like, I just, I just really need to have the time to watch it. And I've been kind of avoiding, uh, like, I've been following a release order for Marvel, and um, I've been watching all the shows that were released last year. And I was, I'm supposed to watch Black Widow next, and I've been kind of avoiding Black Widow, so I've been watching everything else. <laughs> I have, like, this resentment that they didn't release Black Widow until, like, after Endgame, so I'm kind of, like, annoyed about that, so I've been avoiding watching it. So I ended up watching Cloak and Dagger instead, which was fantastic. Oh, got it, got it, got it! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. I really liked, um... I really liked all the, like... The, um... How badly they showed the police in... In Cloak and & Dagger, and I, I liked that they explored that aspect. And this was, like, back in 2017 when they were doing it. And I, I like that the um, they discuss a lot of lot of different aspects of privilege and stuff like that. It was super cool. Ooh, okay. What's this for? Why are there boxes here? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's a. Uh... be something okay I have to go down when it's moving away well that's the same thing yeah damn it a 
I'll have to check it out for sure. Yeah, CrossCode is an indie game too, and you can get it on itch.io. Um, do you know Hack Sign? The story has that stuff. Yeah, I haven't seen Black Widow either. It's been on my list forever. <laughs> yeah, me too. Privilege and race. Well, now I'm gonna have to rewatch it. Yeah, I want to rewatch it with people like who haven't seen it yet. I've been recommending it to everyone. Um, maybe I'll uh, watch it with my brother when he gets here. Um, yeah, Cloak and Dagger is just like, I'm just, I feel like I feel have so many feelings about that because the, I feel very protective about the two main characters. Like I just like, I just wanna like protect them from the world every time I see them. But like I also on some level I also relate to them, which is, which is you know, not an unusual thing for plural systems to be both like, be both adults and kids in a in a situation. So it's it's kind of like that. Oh, I can go through the middle. Yeah. So I have to jump off the wall and go through that diagonally somehow. Yeah, okay. You can do that. Alright, falling through the middle. No, no, okay. Ah, it's too, too much. I have to do it gently. How do we do it gently? That's like... Yeah. I like the whole screen uh, flashes a bit whenever the character dies. That's an interesting aesthetic. No! Okay, no, it's fine. Oh, I have to start lower. That's the trick. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Yeah. I really like, uh, for Cloak and Dagger, what I really loved was the mysticism as well. Like everything was like... Like everything was like just symbolic representations of people's emotions and... Um, and all that stuff. That was very, very interesting. do a double jump there? Uh, probably, yeah. Mm. Too high. I can't believe this game was made in five days. I wonder how much coffee was involved. Mistaken, this isn't a 15 minute game. Yeah, because they, they, the people who designed it probably takes 15, like, it took five days to design it, so they're, they're, they practiced enough to play and finish it in 15 minutes. Or maybe they were thinking of, like, pro gamers who, like, do this in, like, no time. I got that. Oh. But progress, progress, progress is good. Oh, so close. 
I'm guessing I just have to drop there instead of trying to grab the wall. I found out that they did try to do some discussions about race in uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but I think the, the Cloak and Dagger one was way more intense. Oh my god. Has to be a gentle jump. A gentle jump. smooth motion and it didn't work. probably stop soon. I forgot that I'm not supposed to finish any of the games. Come on. It's just uh, so interesting though. I just want to see what happens. Like how things get worse later. Like I want to see that. Like how can things be worse? How can things be more difficult than this. That's the curiosity that keeps me going. Yeah. I'm gonna stop here. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. So this one is called Daydream More. Daydream More. And it's, um, it's by, uh, Moon... Moon Metro Digital. And um, if you want to check it out, it's at moonmetrodigital.h.io. I'll paste the link in the chat. Here we go. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna... We're gonna stop this and I'll take a quick break and I'll be back with our next game. Let's uh, need to get closer to shut this off. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in about five minutes from now. Let's put that off. Yeah, so this is um, this game is available for whatever you want to pay. <laughs> so it's a uh, you can pay $100 or $0. It's a generosity-based marketplace, so you can just um, download this for free if you want. I really like how they offer so many games like that, where you can pay money if you want, but you don't have to. Yeah, it makes things, um, keeps things very, uh, very positive, I think. Uh, 
and um, yeah, let's shut off the console and I'll be back soon.
Hello, I'm back. We're gonna do our game number 473 now. Uh, this one is called Self.Destroy by Maxine Red. You can get it at maxine-red.itch.io. Here it is in the chat. Koopa Queen says, I'll be lurking. Thank you for the lurk. Oh. I'm going to give you a shout out as well. There you go. Koopa Queen plays a lot of Kingdom Hearts, which I love. We have really good discussions about it too. I'm going to give a shout out to Rifna as well. Rifna did like um, a lot of the art for my stream as well as my emojis. Well, one of the emojis at least. Yeah, you should check out their art on their uh, Redbubble as well. They have a lot of non-binary art that I, I really like. I like the princess ones. For the most part, I have a bunch of princess uh, merchandise related to that one. Okay, so self.destroy is the next game. Let's switch, look it up. There we go. It's $1.99 US right now. Uh, the story is that another AI finds themselves trapped a by malevolent beings. This time it's far more serious. You have to escape your destiny. You have to escape your purpose. <laughs> it's an AI sentience game, apparently. Delve into the world of self.destroy and find out how to save everyone. Maybe not everyone. About the game, I wanted to make another game for some time. Mental health and other things stopped me from progressing as far as I would have liked. Now it's done. Another game with a few improvements. Find old friends, new friends, and even a boss fight. So this, I guess this game is a part of a set then. This is the second game. You are always on a timer and have to look out for your health. Do you rush through or do you risk exploring? Uh, both choices have their advantages and both have their prizes. I'm most proud of the boss fight as it's something I've never done before and I think I did well. Cool. Uh, was there a key space a shooting shield is control or shift pause game is P menu select a space and enter return to main menu is escape gamepad controls uh, okay we're gonna figure that out uh, shooting is a bottom bumpers both sides oh, okay shield is X um, okay cool Let's try it out. Oops, it's actually installed on my desktop. Where is it? There you go. We might have to zoom in further in this one, but let's wait for a bit first. Because once the game starts, there might be a way to make it bigger. There we go. I think that's the biggest it'll get. This seems to be the biggest it can get, so I'll get even closer. Okay. Oh, there's a timer. Damn. 
I don't know what that did. I'm collecting these things and avoiding those other things, clearly. Oh, there's a percentage that's increasing. those it uh, you get disoriented for a second so the direction you press doesn't it's not the direction you end up going okay. okay where's the exit I see a little map in the corner okay I think up here is something there's a couple of things here Ah, there's the exit. Okay. Oh. Okay, so it's like a small section that you get to when you, uh, on those how come I'm still at 13% I took a lot hmm Still at 13%. I don't not sure what this implies. Unless the 13% is like how much I've explored. it stopped at 13% oh those big ones are the ones that I collect okay so not the small ones it's the big ones that increase the percentage okay cool those big diamond thingies I'm guessing I have to get to 100% to finish the game or something did we go through here Okay, we change location to
I wonder what I get from collecting those small ones. Oh, someone's shooting at me now. here. Ooh, 27. Might have missed something over here. Oh, there we go. 29. Think they can't shoot diagonally. That's the way I avoid them. That's a new one. Some sort of eye. Ooh, another one. Thirty two. Oops. Did we go through here? Yeah, we did. We came from here. Okay, so we're going the wrong way. I got turned around a bit. We're going up, I think. Ooh, 35. Okay, we finished that level. Thirty-seven. Forty. Doing good. So the fourteen minutes left. Hmm, this game is cool.
Oh, it's something moving around. There's a hand moving around. Okay. No way to go there. Maybe through here? Yeah, no. that one Oop. okay we got 43 percent 45 percent that's pretty good stuff there. Maybe there's another way to get there. halfway done oh 51% nice finish that level too Four. We have ten minutes left. Fifty six. those enemies because they look like something I could pick up. I bet all these levels are randomly generated. Oops. Uh, 62, that's not bad.
Seven percent. We got it. Finish that area. Seventy percent. We have six minutes left. Oh, that is whatever that is. Just really messed me up there. hurt that box is not a real box okay damn oh these like follow me around okay let's get out of here things got really hard all of a sudden oh 72% a long time all organic life is lost wow <laughs> okay that's that's intense okay so um i don't think i'm gonna replay it but um but it's um that was interesting that was actually really engaging and um i almost got 100%. I bet you get like the boss battle when you get to 100%. I'm gonna leave that for people to find out. It's only like two dollars so you can like yeah uh, I think it's fairly affordable for many people. So yeah it's uh, I'm gonna just uh, leave it there. So that one's called self.destroy and it's um Game number 473, uh, Self-Destroy by Maxine Red.
Yeah, that was really cool. Um, I'm going to take a break. Um, and I'll be back with our next game. Let me just shut off the console. Our next game is called uh, Sonar Smash by Pixel Pajama Studios. It looks like something like a, it's like a shoot 'em up with dolphins and bubbles and something like that. I haven't really looked into it yet, but it looks like it looks cute. That's all I know. So uh, we're going to explore that together in about five minutes and um, I'll see you all in a bit.
Hello, I'm back. So, our last game of today's session, game number 474, Sonar Smash by Pixel Pajama Studios. Pixel Pajama Studio. You can get it at Pixel. Um, you can get it at Pixel Pajama Studios.h.io. Switch it on. Turn Smash. It's a super cute, fast paced shoot em up. Smash your way through endlessly scaling waves of adorable sea creatures using unique and powerful sonar abilities. Collect rings to unlock sonar powers, reveal hearts, and purchase um, stat upgrades at the randomly occurring vendor. Obtain boosts and relics from high scores, daily chests, and in game achievements to enhance your next voyage. Seven adorable but deadly enemy types, retro themed juicy pixel art animations, seven unique and powerful sonar abilities, original grooves by abstraction music, purchasable slot uh, stat upgrades, and random power up buffs. Hey, drone in. Uh, in game achievements and rewards. Sonar Smash will release on April 8, 2020, for iOS. Wow, just uh, just a month after the pandemic lockdown happened. <laughs> uh, our community uh, beta is now ongoing. Oh, it's also on iOS. Interesting. Well, it's shaped like an iOS game. Okay, awesome. It's two ninety nine US dollars right now. Looks pretty good. Let's try it out. There we go. Hmm. I'm wondering if the controller works here. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, controller doesn't work. Spacebar or C. Oh, okay. Is one and Q or tap energy? Uh, oh, okay. You just have to stay in that same spot. Interesting. What was that? Oh, that was something that hits me. Okay. Select your stats. Oh, okay. No items available. Ah, uh, then how do I select stats? It's a sonar ability. Leave skip. Relic. idea. Ronan asked, uh, said, uh, hi Rifna, how thing? hope things are well. 
this a mobile game i think it, it it yeah it is available on ios they say so um hey there's a seahorse now cool it's a space horse rather because it, we're in space i think we're in space unless we're in water and i'm just thinking it's space we need to take care of the little ones first. Because yeah, they're going to be a problem later. Wow. Okay. That was pretty flawless. Yeah. What is that? Got any rings? Check out what I got. Oh, I don't have any rings. Because I didn't get any in the last thing. Uh. The first time I got so many rings. See, now I get rings. Oh, those are clams. Okay, cool. Now I have two rings, I could buy something. If they show up again. Three rings. Debunked? What? What got debunked? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. That, that's a lot. Collected three voyage to wave seven. Okay. I don't have any items for anything. Okay, so sometimes the uh, sonar gets reflected by them. Oh, the clams are throwing pearls at me. Okay. <laughs> it makes sense. This is a jellyfish, right? Oh. Oh, I got a plus one heart. Nice. Probably buy something now. Uh, this one? Let's try this one. What is this? How do I get it? Oh, I click on it. Alright. Forget. Triple shot fires three sonar waves. Yes. I don't have any more rings, so that's it. Ah, there we go. My only critique is that the um, the button for uh, doing the special is way too far from the button for firing. So that's kind of gets in the way. Oh, oh, wow. Avoided that one. Okay. Uh, 
four rings now. That's pretty good. Let's do lots of specials. Wave 7 is done! Let's... Yeah, we got 6 rings now, we can buy some stuff. Uh, whatever this... I could maybe use another heart. Or whatever this thing is. Bubble shield. Is that like just my only special? Let's get a heart. Another one? Oh, no, I'm full. Okay, no, I can't get any more. Oh, 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 oh. Some dangerous creatures coming. Controls inverted. Oh, I could have taken that and fixed things. God damn. I have four rings. I could restore my... Yeah, I'll just restore my health. It's like... Curious about what this thing is and now, like, the controls are reversed. I think it's permanent. No, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, cool. Uh. Cool. Hey, Fire Don't Talk. Sorry, I was just really focused on the game. Didn't see your message there. Ah, I died. <laughs> Went to wave 12 this time. Got an item? Okay, I don't know what these are. Plus one speed and triple shot. Oh, do I get both of them? Okay, cool. So now I have like... Okay, so I can increase speed. Faster now, and then I have a triple shot. Cool. Okay, two rings already. That's not bad. not doing well. That's a break beat. 
things are so elusive. Suspicious of everything they drop now. Oh, sonar reach and boost. That's really cool. So yeah, I better be good or else I won't survive. I'm in wave 10 already. Cool. Oh my god. Okay, so we got some new powers now. Um, piercing wave and skip to wave 5. Ooh, nice. I can skip stuff now. That's cool. Oh, the stats are for each, um, you use it up once you have it. Okay, cool. Sure, why not? Let's skip to wave 5. Just gonna restore health. 
So I got two rings, can't really buy anything, damn. It's a close one. Come on. This fish is. It looks very uh, non fish like. <laughs> and everything else matches some sea creature, but I don't know what that one is. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, no! Uh, got up to wave 13 though, that's pretty good. I got new items, we got um, piercing wave and plus one speed. Cool. Well, I think I played this quite a bit already. Um, I think it's... I've demonstrated pretty much everything there is to see here. Except for, like, maybe some of the powers that we haven't uh, come across yet. Hmm, okay. I think this is a good place to stop. This is... this was pretty fun. I didn't expect to have this much fun with it. Oh wow, he got, like, new stuff. Oh my god, it's because I got trophies and stuff that I got these items now. My god, that's a lot of items. It's coming back to the main, main menu gave me all these. I got these from... <laughs> look at the amount of stuff I'm getting. I got this from just, uh, fulfilling different trophies. That's really interesting. What's this for? Oh, that's the um, rating, game rating. Okay. Um, oops. Um, here. How do we exit? So that was Sonar Smash by um, uh, Pixel Pajama Studio. You can get it at pixelpajamastudio.itch.io. Okay. Well, uh, that was our 158th session. <laughs> um, today we looked at games number 472 to 474. So that was Day, uh, Day Dreamer by moon metro digital which was a one-bit precision platformer reminded me of celeste a little bit but um made within like five days so it's very simplified uh game number 473 was self-destroy by maxine red which was also very engaging it's about an ai trying to get, gain sentience but you know through this weird metaphor that i didn't really understand 
Game number 474, which was Sonar Smash by Pixel Pajama Studio. It's a really cute uh, shoot 'em up. Um, it's not too challenging, but not too easy either. It was a really, I think, medium difficulty for that one. So, um, if you want to check them out, here's the links in the chat again for all of them. Okay, so um, next week I am hoping to finish my new overlay for this stream. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get to finish it, but I'm almost done. So that last few uh, tweaks that I need to do to it, if I can find time to do them, I'll be able to put that in. Um, Rifna has been helping me as usual. Uh, with some of those elements and uh, Rifna did uh, some of the graphics including the TV and the avatar for me for my um, overlays so if you want to check out more of Rifna's art um, here's more here's uh, the links to their profiles their Pinterest, Redbubble and Twitter here it is in the chat and also see it on the credits screen that's scrolling by Okay, so I'm gonna do, um, I might do a raid on somebody. Let me just see if anyone's available right now. And, um, let's see. Hmm. Well, I haven't, um, raided this person before so let me just do that so let's give a raid to the apple freak they're playing the stanley parable i haven't played stanley parable but i think it's uh, i heard it's very interesting i want to play it eventually i always find these uh reality questioning games to be very interesting so we're gonna do that um let's see My raid message is hearts of light and shadow shift the balance in your favor. You can use that when we go there. Well, thank you all for joining. That was a really fun time. Um, and um, I'm going to be back with some story games on Friday. That's the plan. In the meantime, um, Stay safe, stay hydrated, stay balanced. I'll see you next time. Bye.